What up? Uh, here I answer a few more questions uh, that people have asked me. Sorry about the delay. Uh, this past week I worked three jobs. I was teaching every morning. Uh, I had to be up there around 8, so it was like 8 to 12.30. Had to cut grass, you know, a few yards in between there, and work at the grocery store. So I'm sorry I wasn't able to answer those questions sooner. Hopefully I'll be able to answer all the questions here in this video. It may be a little lengthy, so if you see the time thing and don't have time for that, no reason to leave a negative comment. Also, if you see that the video has questions in it or you see me talking to my MacBook camera, odds are it might be a, if it's not a Bible, you know, scripture reading where it says, you know, the title of the verse, odds are I'm answering questions. So if some of you guys are tired and bored of that, feel free not to watch it. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, you know, I understand that, you know, a question might not pertain to you and I might not be answering anything you have in your mind, but just trying to help out other people. I love answering questions, love getting to know my, uh, you know, friends and fans. And like I said in the one video, you know, it's not about subscribers or views. It's about making friendships. And by answering these questions, uh, hopefully, you know, we relate and develop uh, some form of friendship. So if you really don't like them, you know, you guys uh, just don't have to watch them, I guess. Um, but either way, I appreciate the view. Just always remember that um, if you don't like a video I'm doing, I really do appreciate you respecting me, taking the time to do the video, and uh, watching it. So thank you. A um, few questions from Inflictor77. Um, grocery store. Do I like working at a grocery store? Now, I partially answered this in A Day in the Life of Bishop, um, the movie, which is like an hour or something long, so I understand if you missed it. I know a lot of people just like kind of clicked right through it. I love it. I really do. I've been working there about four years, September 23rd. Um, I started out as a beggar, then went up to a cashier, and then customer service booth, and now I'm a manager. Um, so it took a little while, about four years, and uh, you know, the pay is not the best because it's a local independent grocery store. It's not like, a, you know, as big as Walmart or anything like that. So, um, so as far as pay for me would probably be different from what you would receive. Uh, I knew that you said you were going into getting a job and just were curious, you know, what a grocery store was like. The one I work at, even though it is kind of small and independent, uh, the, you know, it's very big, you know. Um, you're dealing with customers every day, you know, every second of every day. And uh, hold on, I'm gonna pause this because it looks like it's not recording right. Hold on, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, it's recording fine, but it's just counting by, you know, the tenth and it's lagging. But anyway, yeah, I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm dealing with customers all the time, so you have to keep like that positive attitude. And my work has this thing called POS, which is Positive Outrageous Service. And, um, you know, our store locally is really known for our good POS, our, our good, you know, positive, you know, outrageous service, you know, reaching to customers, helping customers outside with their items. Um, you get to, you know, I'm not going to lie, I gained some weight working at a grocery store because you go on break, you're like, wow, I scanned that item. That's only two for five. I'm going to get one of those or something like that. So you get familiar with sales, help out your family. Hey, Coke's on sale. 4 4 11, get the fifth 12 pack free why not you know and so um so yeah there's a lot you know your co-workers are always cool um you know depending on who the co-workers are you know i enjoy i enjoy all of ours you know i have really cool managers and everything so you know everything's awesome at my grocery store i love it um i respect the company so much and um and you really learn a lot about responsibility um as funny as it sounds, you know, dealing with paper, plastic, cold items, hot items together. But when you, you know, go up to being a cashier, you know, you're in charge. You're responsible for the money that you're dealing with, the money you're taking from customers, the money that you're giving back. So it, it really develops, you know, a, you know, helps for for responsibility and learning, you know, how to count and all that. And uh, you know, and then when if you know customer service booth or whatever position you go from there. I've also worked in the dairy department the grocery department and trained a little in the deli. So I've kind of been all around the grocery store. There's many different departments. Uh, dairy department's always fun, fill in milk, um, fill in eggs. But yeah, I definitely recommend it. I really love it there. Like I said, I don't make a lot of money, but I've been there for so long. So I, I really must like it a lot, I guess, uh, to stay there. And uh, the one I, I work at works great with my schedule with school and cutting grass and everything like that. So it really couldn't be better. So thank you for that question. 
Um, do I play World of Warcraft? No, I do not. The only uh, RPG online game I played was Guild Wars, but I do not play that anymore. Just didn't have the time. Um, not a big fan of WoW just because, you know, having to pay monthly for online, I'm not a big fan of that, you know, um, just because I'm not made of, I, I mean, not made of money. And plus, you know, I, I personally, I think, you know, a good game should be a good game where you can only you only have to pay like 50 bucks once you know what I mean um, just because that money could be used good elsewhere but that's my personal opinion you know I know a lot of I have a lot of friends that play WoW so I do respect those WoW gamers but personally I don't have the time for that much neither but very good question thank you um, now going on to ODS the Hell Jumper 1989 his questions um, what Steam games do I have well I, I, it took so long to answer this because I thought I was going to get my computer back by now and I was going to show it via, you know, camera on the computer. But I got my new processor back and the computer still doesn't work. So we took it up to a computer place and they're going to work with it. Um, but, you know, I don't know a lot about Steam. To be honest, when I did the Team Fortress 2 review, I reviewed the game the day that I got it. 15 minutes after I got it about so it I think so so it wasn't like I was familiar with it that was the first time I saw steam and I haven't been on steam since um so I'm gonna film all the friend requests that I got um but I guess steam ga games would be I got the orange box so I guess all those games and um I, I think that's it um but but like I said when I get my computer back I'll be on it more hopefully we could play together and own together yeah and um, and I'll do probably another video when I get my computer better to answer that question better I, I apologize um, that my steam name is just like my YouTube name my aim name my MSN name COD4 name every name is BL5H0P capital B lowercase L number 5 capital H number 0 hello capital P Bishop um, do I play any Quake games? No, I do not. But once I get my new computer, I will be buying and playing Quake Wars. So, yes, I will be playing that. Quake 4 looked like a great game as well, but really didn't have time for that and didn't think my computer could run it too well. And then when it started running Call of Duty 4, I was like, hey, maybe it will. But then I got so wrapped up in Call of Duty 4, I kind of forgot about Quake 4. But yes, I will be playing Quake Wars. So, so all those uh, Quake War gamers out there, yes, I will be playing that. Um, good questions. Thank you. Thank you for the questions. Thank you, Inflictor77, as well. Now for Chow Fun Poo Poo, his questions. Uh, first off, just for me saying that, it's now even between you and CMSL, your buddy. Um, shout out to both of you. Both of you guys are awesome. Um, Call of Duty 4 matches. When am I going to be doing more in game reviews, stuff like that? As soon as I get my new computer, I will. Uh, the computer I have now, if you guys didn't notice in the review and the ownage videos, it, it was real shaky. It wasn't that good because the graphics are on the lowest of the low, and that's what I'm currently playing at. I went to a bigger monitor to play 800 by 600 just for it to play better, and uh, it kind of gets frustrating at times. And, and I believe, you know, it, whether whether I have a new computer or not, you know, I still own, you know. So it's, it's not like that what is the issue for filming but I kinda wanna make the video look good for you guys not when I sprint or when I run you know everything kinda gives you a headache cause I know it did for me so I'm sure it did for you watching it you know over the internet I mean it did for me as I imported it in my computer so you know I just kinda want it to be good for you guys and uh, that's a very good question as well so I hope I answered those uh, questions pretty well Bishop out I appreciate you guys for answering these questions feel free to keep them running in uh, you guys did all good um, thank you and feel free to buy a Bishop shirt you know yeah uh, just fine uh, big big shout out um my friend my friend Ellie uh, we kind of were talking a little bit tonight and um, and, and, and I kind of told her what was was going on in my life and and she really helped me a lot with it um, so just being able to develop the friendship we've developed like I was mentioning at the first part of my video um, that's awesome and so and so from talking to her from talking to a lot of you guys a lot like White Sox fan all these people that I'm, you know uh, Davy G the one all these people I'm talking to uh, back and forth and there's so many more Reggie all these people I, I'm developing these friendships and, and tonight talking to her about something in my life like I needed someone to talk to like 
you know, right, right there uh, about it, and it's, um, and it was, it was great. It was very good, and um, and yes, and then also uh, a prayer request, if you don't mind, uh, my really, 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 really good friend, Jesse. Um, her her stomach's hurting tonight, and she wasn't feeling too good. So I, um, so yeah, so I took her over some chicken noodle soup, and hopefully she feels better. So um, if she's watching this, she should probably lay down and get more rest. But uh, yes, so if you guys could pray for her, hope she feels better. She has a long week of work ahead of her, so it'd be good to feel better for that. And uh, guys, thank you for everything. You guys are awesome. Bishop Productions, you hear me? Ha, 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 ha.